everybody. It's Sharon again. Just one, make one last video for the week. Uh, this is a bottom bottle pour. I've taken the uh, bottoms of drink bottles, cut them off, and I use them to make the design on paint canvas <clears throat> excuse me there we're going to use three colors I got a maroon that I mixed up with a little bit of red and black uh, purple and white um, we're going to go purple first I didn't put a base coat down I hope everybody's having a good day. It's wet and rainy here today in South Carolina. Okay. A little bit of white in between. Because we're only doing three colors. And do better than I do. Don't try not to hit the bottle. That needs a little bit better. Oh. Let me put this in a little bit smaller cup. Sorry about that. makes it just a little bit easier in this smaller cup or I thought it would put a little bit of white in between each color give it a little bit of separation not sure how this is going to work. Usually I'll use three or four different colors. Tell you what, I am very, very new to all this. Um, I am doing this what you would call on a very, very cheap budget. I'm, I'm videoing all of this on my phone. Uh, my husband has made my phone stand to where... Because a lot of people have that arm thing that to where they can adjust it and all that. Nope, not me. I don't have all that. Um, I have, my husband's got a two piece, well, three pieces of wood. And uh, I just dangled my phone over the edge. Um, as you can see, I have a tub here catching the paint, Baker's Rack. I'm doing it really very cheaply. The the paint I use, uh, <laughs> it's a very cheap paint because I'm only starting out on this. I don't. I I. I hate to say it, I don't have the money to spare. This is all just fun for me because I am a disabled so 
I'm just doing this to have something to do to keep my mind still working. Okay, one more time, and I'm going to say it's done. Okay. Let's, 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 let's put this paint away so we don't knock it over. Holder down there. Okay. I just like to swirl it to help it suck it in a little bit. And then give it a minute and it'll all envelop in. Then we'll tilt and see what comes of it. Let me put these over here. Let's torch it a little bit so we can pop any air bubbles. Because I can see a few right now. Okay, we still got to get this last little bit of a corner. And let's try to tilt it back into the center. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think that's it. Oh, well, I'm pleased with it. I hope you are. I hope you'll keep watching. Look forward to the next 
video and uh, it will probably be a few days hmm. give me a minute I see something I don't know if it's a bubble or if it's oh it was a bubble Sometimes you never can tell. Sometimes it could be a hair. Sometimes it's a bubble. But you just never know. But I will appreciate it if you would watch, subscribe, hit the share button. And thank you again for watching. Bye.